I think one of the reasons we're in this turbulent time, of course, is because of the internet and social media. And Luke, yeah. you've spoken a lot about this uh, in really raw and awesome ways. So I just wanted to begin touching upon that. Twitter, yeah. Instagram, Facebook. So, um, raw. Brr, brr, <laughs> this brr. is the speaking dinosaur. You may speak if you're holding it. It's an invitational model. Well, I feel. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I think... Um, you know, we're in a period right now where it's great because, like, everyone has a voice and it's terrible because everyone has a voice. You know? <laughs> I and, love it. Like, if you think, like, That's the excellent. mob is good, I invite you to study the French Revolution. You know, <laughs> and, like, oh, what happened? Because, like, so like groupthink is so interesting, you know, and there's, yeah, like, a culture and, like, and uh, things and, like, things happen. And this weird, like, kind of going back to, I think, what, like, kind of to tie in both things of this whole idea of, like, like market correction so mm. you cannot uh, deny the fact that our uh, that like a america has a racist past i mean you were uh, we were just doing like a photo shoot this like the other yeah. day and we were on a bus and it said on the back part colors in the back and it's like oh yeah, yeah. no colors beyond this point and you're like yeah oh <laughs> like that was Let's a thing turn this Not down like, for a photo shoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. um good way of talking your way out of that one if but, that went yeah, yeah, yeah right. so we, we were just highlighting the struggle <laughs> yeah, I know. it's very oh, historic you were smiling <laughs> and then so like you could say that like you know being like woke right now yeah. is a is a response to that mm. is this is like but the, the 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 hard part about it is when you look at how Twitter works for for example, I'm convinced of their algorithm. Oh, I and mean, yeah. this is my um, a conspiracy hat on. But no, it's spot it's on. meant yeah. to incite this. So that you yeah. see people, I had people about a thing that I was I'm writing about. They respond to a thing you wrote three to four days ago, which is like a thought that you have, but they see it on their timeline right then. Yeah. So they think it's something you're saying in the moment about things that are going on right now. And if the conversation has changed. They respond to it as if you're being ignorant or you're, yeah. uh, you know. Who's responding to it? Like, people Anyone who, who see your tweets, People who, right? who yeah. um, see your, like, yeah. tweet. And oh, so I get it. Yep. It's yep. weird because they're having a, they're having a conversation with you from like three to four days days ago but they're seeing it like this information has now. changed yeah yeah and so they think your response uh. is in light or, or, or they go well, have, you know and it begets it gets very yeah. and I, I'm almost convinced like they understand this yeah. and they want um, to foster this. it would make good business sense wouldn't it exactly and now you have this mob mentality. Mm -hmm. Of what happens when anyone, and this is, this is kind of what I mean about that whole like market correction thing or like kind of do things always go go back and forth where it is a witch hunt. Uh, the thing yep. about like Liam Neeson yeah. when he said the thing about um, uh, he wanted to like beat up an, um, a black guy. Yeah. And it's like, what's horrible? You know, but what was the context of, of this? Why is it, the like immediate thing is to then just jump and say, his, yeah. he's done now. He's outcast. Yeah. He's his head has been chopped off mm -hmm. in in essence. It's basically the like I'm a French Revolution. Yep. And the more I see this crazy stuff happening, the more I'm happy to be a small fry like, in the internet world. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, oh, like totally. I've got like what totally. thirteen thousand followers on YouTube. Like that's yeah. good. I don't need yeah. to stick my yeah. head above and And again, like I'm not saying that like it's tough because I feel like now I feel this weird um need to say I don't agree with what he said. You know, sure. and, but like I'm sure he, he human doesn't being. agree yeah, with what it, he said. Yeah. It just I was like are we just gonna do this? He was every being, time? he seemed to be being unnecessarily vulnerable. Like this was an event yeah. from his past. It was, there was no way you could utter that and it not be yeah. used against him. It seems like something that may have been useful to bring up over a pint with a trusted friend or with a therapist, yeah. but not to air before everybody. Yeah. And it, it but just, now we air everything before everybody. And that, and that, I think, is another element of the conversation within the Catholic context is everything is immediate response. And we're training ourselves on that. Like we, I mean, we, we do a, this, and, yeah. I, and I get really worried about it at times. That yeah, like we live a public life. We respond from sound bites. We don't. That's why podcasting is such a great medium because you can sit and talk about. Well, and people initiative. can't comment in real time on podcasts like they can on videos. Like right. I've been really surprised at how much hate I've gotten mm -hmm. as my YouTube channel has mm -hmm. begun to begin to take off because people watch it and they say something really bad about me. Yeah. But you can't do that if you're listening to my podcast. There's nowhere to type it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, like, of... I probably won't read the comments to this. Yeah. Yes, I will. But yeah. um, but it's weird. <laughs> and like, I hate myself. But like, and here's then... here's the weird part about all. That's of this. why donuts exist. Is, <laughs> is everyone yeah, right? Everyone talks about this. You hear this to people who are on the left, who are on who are yeah. on the right. They're all like, "This is really bad," but no one's doing anything. 
except pointing at it. And I don't know what, yeah. but uh, yeah, But what exactly. have you done? Because I understand that you've changed the way you've used social media because of some of this. Is that um, right? Or no? A bit. A the bit. law of undulation. <laughs> Luke goes right back to where he started. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've really tried to, um, <sighs> kind of. I, 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 I had a point where after the whole of Covington Catholic, I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm just, I can't deal with, I can't deal being, Corrected by thirty people after I say a thing that they don't agree with. This is who just can, especially from exhausting. thirty strangers. Even, yeah, exactly. Even, even That's if they're it. all right, you know, to have thirty strangers correct you that you don't, you know, it's yeah. it's it, it's yeah. And, uh, um, and I think so. For me, I tried to back out. I was like, I think I'm done, and I was gonna have uh, I was gonna have a friend just like run our account. Yeah. And then I've kind of jived back into it a little bit, but there, there is a I have a weird detachment it's very with it now. I, I, and then, it is, and it's right. supposed to be. It reminds me of my parents who would watch the news at 7 p.m. every single mm -hmm. night. And when I would be like, why are you doing this? They would put it in a positive light. They'd yeah. say, you need to know what's going on in the world. Yeah. And I thought, that's not why you're watching this. So the more I reflected upon it, I'm like, that's not why people watch that's the squirrels news. squirrels on jet skis. <laughs> you don't even know about a squirrel on a jet ski. Yeah. We're watching this for entertainment. And, and I think that social media is less like a news mm -hmm. feed and more like a poker machine. You know, it's yeah. just this yeah. addictive thing. And... So for that reason, about I'm so proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself for very few things. <laughs> so that I have to talk about the ones I'm proud of. It's been about seven months now that I haven't had access to my social media. I gave it to Kin and Doyle. I'm not sure if you know him. He used to work for Life Team. Awesome dude. Oh, nice. Um, he, uh, he, uh, I gotta, we're going to do a shout out to him. But um, anyway, he, he just took over my social media. And I said to him, I need you to change my passwords because I know myself and yep. I have no self-control. Yep. Yeah, wow, so he, seven months ago, he changed my passwords and I haven't been on. Mm. And at first, it was like missing an arm. But then yep. the more I've yeah. done. It's funny because I've never been that way when it comes to social media. I, I got a little bit into that on Facebook when I would have a post that would just blow up. And I'm like, whoa, 7,000 oh, cool. people have liked this stuff. So I just want to show people this. Creatushouse.com. I like that font. Robert, if you could throw that up. This is the guy, Kiernan. Not only is he attractive, uh -huh. he's also just super awesome. So if there's people out there who are like me and got super fed up with social mm -hmm. media and you want somebody to just kind of take it over, because it's not feasible for everybody just to right. totally drop out. I mean, some of us have something mm -hmm. we're trying to shill, you know, yeah. like uh, <laughs> trying to sell stuff and let people know about it. Buy my book. Yeah. Yeah. Buy my Buy book. my book. <laughs> Patreon.com uh, slash CM. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for that, for that reason, people could... <laughs> it was the wrong camera, yeah, Luke. He just winked at the wrong camera. That's awesome. Well, no one will know until you said no, it. No, but that's really cool that yeah. the people who are really... And I think people to, should check that out. Also, to, to have a it's person... It's made my life so much better. To yeah. have a person be able to approach it from an academic... I mean, academic, but like a detached yeah. standpoint. Yeah, like, definitely. So when, when Facebook people, is evil. Like, people need to understand yeah. Facebook as an organization is a bad organization. Tell us why. They are doing so much data mining on Because Facebook is evil is going to be one of the cutout videos. Yes. <laughs> Tell us why. Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. they, they set up... Um, so within the app store, you can have... You can sideload apps instead of downloading mm -hmm. apps. Businesses can what apply... What does that mean? So businesses can apply for enterprise apps that are only used in-house. Mm -hmm. So you have to get these special certificates, these developer certificates that allow you to put an app on your phone that's not widely distributed. So Facebook, and Google did this too, but Facebook was the key one. They would abuse their enterprise certificates in order to farm these apps to thir children th as, as young as 13. And they would put them on their phone, and it was a VPN, a virtual private network. And it recorded every single thing you went to on the internet with your phone. So it created basically a tunnel to Facebook servers and from their servers to the internet so they could track everything you're that's doing. That's insane. Now, why, why is that evil? I'm sure that's in their terms of agreement. No, it? it's not. It, number one, it violates Apple's terms of agreement. Really? You are not allowed. It's only for, it's only. It's like, um, think of like a company that wants to manage like their warehouse. Yeah. They don't want an app on the app store that anyone can get. So they have these enterprise things. It's like, yes, you can have sure. this. And so that's kind of what the point is. So Apple found out that they were doing this and rejected Facebook's certificate and shut Facebook down completely, kicked out all of their enterprise apps. So every single, and they probably have like dozens, right? So we don't think about this because it's not in the app store, but Facebook or Apple is deadly serious about your privacy because that's how they kind of get a leverage stuff. up on Google and all that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so they, they really worked it. They have to protect their brand of privacy. And so you find out that Facebook, they would do things like they would have an inaudible sound being played constantly so that your app was always running in the background. Because 
I mean, do you do this with your iPhone? Like, you swipe away apps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't ever have to do that. Yeah, people why think, am I doing that? Like, it's slowing down my yeah, phone. Yeah. Now, if you have a bad app, people do that because you, you can. But what Facebook was doing was it would play an inaudible sound constantly so that its app was always running at full speed in the background. <sighs> And then they were found out. And, oh, we, it was a bug. And it's like, really, it's a bug going for like 12 months, right? So these things happen. And were they recording and your They weren't recording you. They were just keeping their app always loaded and just doing all these practices that, that literally, I mean, think about how it kills your battery. Facebook was a horrible battery hog and all this stuff. So they do all of these things. They were selling data that they shouldn't have to third parties. A big scandal. They're getting fined. Can I interject really quick? Yeah. I have to pee so bad. Yeah. How was your urination? Oh, it was such a relief. <laughs> I, I'm, I guarantee you there were so many comments on YouTube like, why is a bald fat guy getting so uncomfortable and just like keep going like this with a, with a dinosaur? That's weird. <laughs> well, kids, he had to pee really badly. Bear down. Bear down. Gomer's like, on a tear. I was, like, I, as soon as I was like, oh, no. I know where this is going to go. And uh, I got him. I mean, I was like legitimately like, oh, like, I was like, okay, Luke, you're an adult. You can hold it at a point where I was like, no, your body's like, no, you can't, man. Especially, no, you can't. You're an you older a, adult. You've got a ton you of coffee and a lot of water. Especially because at the start of this, I'm like, I'm really hoping to break the three hour barrier. I know, and I was and so totally you're all looking about at that it. clock, man, like, yeah. no. Nope. Like, Gomer, talk about Facebook now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He's getting a chance to talk about tech stuff. <laughs> I, hey, I had a question about Facebook to wrap this uh, neat set thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are they on the Apple store? The, or did they so get the blocked? Facebook app is, and then they are working with Apple to get all their other things back up. And Google did the same thing. A bunch of companies got outed in this kind of thing. But it, it's true. The whole, the whole point is just to like um, keep you engaged. Yeah. Like you are the product. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's your data. Your and there's a part of me that is okay with that in the sense that I want to see other things that yeah. I'm interested in. I don't mind if like information on like my habits right. get sent to people. If if I Am aware that it's going on. Uh, yeah, it's but it's yeah. like, what, but what does that look like in a post-Christian culture? It looks dangerous. It's you're uh. a, you're an object. You're a commodity, and now your information is a commodity. It's been commoditized. Your buying habits, all this stuff. Yeah. So the dangerous thing is what you know what we're talking about earlier with like, it's it's addictive because it's designed that way. Because you know shareholders want to see two major metrics on a social media platform. They want to see uh, monthly users that are actually using the product, not just signups or whatever. And they want to see time engaged, mm -hmm. right? Every website, you know, that was a big thing. Like the average person on NewYorkTimes.com spends 11 minutes reading articles. They track every inch of that, mm. right? And so Facebook, Facebook isn't competing with um, other social media networks. They're competing with everything else you do on your phone. So what they want to do is cr every group does this. This is why there's a heart and a like and a dislike and a whatever on everything. It's it's all built around uh, the slot machine. I'm being red pilled. Yeah. No. Yeah. So totally, the, totally. I mean, the slot machine. Is, you uh, are, so yeah. Explain it in a dumb like Michael Scott. How would you explain this to me if I was five? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it down, Barney style. Um, yeah. The idea is it's not just earning a reward that keeps people engaged, it's random intermittent rewards. So it's you're pulling the handle over and over again, you get seven, seven bar, seven, seven cherry, seven, seven, oh, if I just keep going, oh my gosh, I won. So you have this addictive impulse that grows because of the randomness of the reward. So you take a game like Clash of Clans, yeah. right? It's this fun pay to play, pay to win kind of game. Um, but you build these things for 12 hours, and all of a sudden, one day you log on, and there's a special prize. And you open it, all of a sudden, you can build your armies 10 days earlier, or you go on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And for Facebook, it's the algor algorithm is structured around likes, right? So you go, and you make a post, and you want to see how many of your friends like it. And you go, and you're just habitually attached to it. But then, all of a sudden, they're like, well, we need to autoplay video. So you go on, and now they're pushing. Everyone needs to get closed captioning on everything, so because that the auto playing video, so it draws your eye to it. And just because you scroll, it, and they count that as a view, so then they can tell their investors, guess what? We had twenty thousand hours of video consumed because it just auto plays. Mm -hmm. But then, they, where's more of that intermittent reward? You open it up, and it's like twelve years ago, you and Luke had this photo. We value our our patrons or our friends' memories. 
No, that's intermittent reward. Because then you go, you get that little dopamine hit, you get a little nostalgia. I do this all the time. My kid, intermittent my kid. reward as opposed to every time you log on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah just out of nowhere. Here's the, the thing. element oh, of nice. surprise like, makes okay, it addictive. Mm -hmm. the element of surprise makes it addictive. They, they want you there. They, they have they they have engineers whose their whole job is to yep. just to keep is just to you know keep you there. And going back to when we talked about. Twitter earlier, how I think that they're like algorithm now, it incites yep. all of this arguing and all of this like echo uh, chamber, chamber yeah. stuff because it keeps you there. Like what's probably the worst and the best thing to ever happen to them was when Trump the, became president. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it was the whole like Egyptian revolution thing and people started to <laughs> like Arab use, uh, yeah. yeah, Arab Spring. This is 2010, 11. Uh. People used... Twitter, do you want to try to explain it really quick? The 30 right seconds. You have 30 <laughs> seconds. The Arab Spring was a series of movements that happened throughout the Mediterranean rim of Arab countries where they were trying to overthrow their military dictatorship. So you have Tunisia, Egypt, you know, all this stuff. And it's called the Arab Uprising or the Arab Spring. Mm. And, and they, it became huge through Twitter and Facebook were the two and, catalysts. And that's what, like, they use, especially yeah. t Twitter, to uh, yeah. do that. And I, I think it was very, like, out of nowhere when it yeah. happened. Like, oh, my gosh, we just um, used this thing to cause a political revolution. Yeah. And I imagine... Twitter went dollar signs because they saw like what it could be used for if they could find a way to get people to interact to call yeah. these on the social up yeah. upheaval. Which, if it happens on the naturally, there could be a really cool thing that that happens with that. And like I think that did. was that yeah. like that was amazing. Um, but then what happens when they're trying to create that? Yeah. But, then, I mean, think about this: they want your money. They want wealthy Westerners' money. So the addictive nature is what they need to cultivate, right? Netflix is competing not just with YouTube, but they recently said this in their investor thing, with anything that takes your eyeballs away from Netflix, right? Yeah. So what do they do? They shorten the amount of time for the next video to play so that you have to actually intervene to not binge watch. Which is, I know, I've even noticed you drag your cursor over a video, it starts playing. Yeah. Yeah. And Which there's is, very few places on the screen where you can rest it yeah. without mm -hmm. something playing. And, and, that's all and if you it. like real art and if you want to view those things as art. so. I love Mad Men. I adore that. I adore that show. And never, yeah, I never watched it. It really it's, bothers me. I mean, I would know if I would recommend it, but okay. like uh, so when the end of it, they <laughs> play over the Here song. Here comes the hate mail. <laughs> no, because every Catholic should watch Mad Men. <laughs> well, actually, not God, I don't think so. Um, Name of the next clip. <laughs> because the end, so at the very end of Mad Men, they always like have a song that kind of like from that era or yep. not at times that ties in with like the show yeah. and the th good thing about that part of when you like have the, when you um ha when you like have the creds if, if you, you want to judge a really good film see how long uh, like um, like see how long people have to stay during that part because they mm. have to think about what just happened it allows people time yeah. to process which was back to the, the, that ability to like understand yeah. what yeah. really is going on here yeah. they yeah, don't want that they just want you to just consume and consume and it's the act of doing it is more important than the understanding yo thanks for watching you can watch the entire episode on youtube if you want you can listen to it at the matt frad show by subscribing on itunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts and feel free to support me patreon.com slash matt frad